all right hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is precious Ubueda, and in this video we would want to look at um, um, the concept of uh, partial fractions so you recall that when you have two simple fractions say one over three plus one over two you can actually bring these two together by finding the lcm and that will give you two plus three which is equal to 5 all over 6. And that will give you a single fraction. And this is for fractions of uh, ordinary numbers. And we can actually do this for algebraic fractions. So where we have, for example, 1 all over x, maybe plus 2 all over 3x. So we can also join this to give us another single fraction and the LCM here will be 3x this will give us 3 plus this will give us 2 which is 5 all over 3x and so now this is the process of joining two or more fractions to get a single fraction now the act of going the reverse direction that means splitting a single fraction to give you two or more simpler fractions is what we call the partial fraction so now we'll see that we if we split this we will get 1 over 3 and plus 1 over 2 and so we say that these two are partial fractions of 5 over 6 and also these two 1 over x and this one they are also partial fractions of what of 5 over 3x okay so now the process of doing this is dependent on the type of partial fraction you have or the type of single fraction you have so we are going to look at the different types of single fractions we have and how to resolve them into their partial fractions so for example the first one here we have is when you have a single fraction where the denominators you know are, uh, contain uh, linear factors okay look at this now we have there are two linear factors here as denominators okay so and please note the number of linear factors you have will tell you the number of partial fractions you will obtain when you eventually you know split it into partial fractions so here we have two linear factors as denominators that means we are going to have two partial fractions so let's quickly look at that all right so here now if to uh, split this into its uh, partial fractions whenever you have linear factors what you are going to get is you're going to have a all over one of the linear factors which in this case is x minus one plus b all over the other linear factor and when you have gotten this your interest now is to solve for the value of a and b then substitute it into this and that will give you the partial fractions you are looking for okay and so how do we go about this we'll simply try to you know get the lcm bring them together so that we can cancel equal denominators and so what's the lcm here the same x minus 1 into x minus 2 and if we cancel this we'll get x minus 2 so that will be a times x minus 2 then plus uh, and if we cancel here, we're going to have x minus 1, which will give us b into x minus 1. Okay, and remember that our 6x all over x minus 1, x plus minus 2, sorry, is equivalent to this. And if they are equivalent, then their denominators can go away. And so when that happens, you are going to have that 6x is equivalent to a into x minus 2 plus b into x minus 1 and this has given us equivalent polynomials which we did in our previous video you would look you would like to actually look at that video please kindly do that and so here we'll just apply any of those two methods we considered for uh, identical polynomials to solve for a and b and i'm going to make use of the second method that method says that um, I should eliminate any of the constants and then look for the other. So if I decide to eliminate B here, that means I will make X here to be 1. And so let my X be 1. 
and if that happens i am going to have x as one here will give me six is equal to here i will now have a into one minus two whereas here if i put one i will get zero so that's going to give me six is equal to minus a therefore my a alone is equal to minus six <clears throat> and then what about the second one to get my b now i will eliminate a and to eliminate a i will make my x to be two so let my x be equal to two and so that's going to give me um two times uh, six here is 12 and that's equal to if you put two here you are going to get a zero here and so uh i'm going to then have only b which is b into two minus one and that will give me 12 is equal to two minus one is one times b is b therefore my b is 12. and so if you bring all of that into these partial fractions here it means that your therefore my 6x all over x minus 1 into x minus 2 is actually equal to so if i put a here which is minus 6 i will have minus 6 all over x minus 1 then if i put b which is 12 that will give me plus 12 all over x minus 2 and of course you know you can rewrite this in if you rewrite that here you are going to have that this is equal to that's making the one that is positive to come first which is 12 all over x minus 2 minus 6 all over x minus 1 and that is the required partial fractions thanks for checking out math experience with precious Lugesi on youtube please be sure to subscribe and like our videos for updates